here is a factory employing semantic attribute-based access control. Suppose one of the machines at the factory is broken. None of the employees knows how to fix it, hence they have to ask help from the producer of the machine. Using our semantic attribute-based access control, which is a combination of AVAC and semantic technologies, it is possible to control most of accesses using a few policies. In this case, AVAC controls access using attributes represented in Italic. AVAC also provides obligations which are extra conditions like the underlying text. Besides, semantic technologies provide semantic synonyms of attributes to the access control engine. The producer of the broken machine sends a technician to the factory. The technician has an attribute called educations, which its value is bachelor degree in mechanical engineering. When he wants to get inside the section of the broken machine, the access control engine evaluates the request based on the defined policy and provided attribute values. There is a broken machine and the request is issued during working hours. However, the technician doesn't provide an attribute called expertise. Instead, he provides his degree which is somehow representing his expertise. So the semantic reasoner tells the access control engine that these attributes have the same meaning. Therefore, the permission will be granted. Without SABAC, role-based access control may be employed. Under an RBAC system, several roles need to be defined based on the employee's responsibilities. Each role needs to be assigned the appropriate permissions. When a new user should be given access, the appropriate role should be created and assigned to them. So whenever a change occurs, system administrators have to go through the role and permission process, which is very complicated. However, using SABAC, there is no need to do such exhaustive works, as the value of attributes of users, resources, environment, and even actions change over time, access permissions change automatically as well.